In this presentation we're going to look at how to draw a data flow diagram uh, which is a visual representation of data transfers within a system. Data flow diagrams use four symbols. Uh, the four symbols are a circle which is a process uh, which is when something happens. The data flow is represented by an arrow indicating the direction of flow and contains labels which are the data flowing along that direction. We have an external entity, which is any person that sends or receives data from the system, otherwise known as participants within the system. And then we have a data store, which is open-ended box, which is where the data is stored. It could be a server, it could be a hard disk drive, it could be a database, it could be uh, an array or a variable, or it could even be a piece of paper. We're going to learn uh, how to draw these things by uh, looking at this example here. A teacher has sent out a note to parents stating that he has an excursion coming up. These students need to return a signed permission slip with information stating that any food allergies. He tabulates the data, the teacher that is, tabulates the data into a spreadsheet. Draw a data flow diagram for this information system. And we're going to do this in, I think, nine steps. The first step is to identify the participants, and I've got them there, underlined in red. We've got a teacher, we've got a parent, and we've got a student, although I think you'll find that the student is not a participant within this system. Um, they are actually a medium, they transferred the data, but they're not actually a participant. We'll find that out as we go along. The next step is to draw the participants, and they are in boxes. They are external entities, so I've just drawn them there. I don't draw them anywhere on the screen. Uh, it helps to be able to draw these on computer because then you can move them around. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the data stores. And uh, there's one data store I have uh, actually neglected here, which is the note to parents. But permission slip and spreadsheet are good um, data stores where information is stored. Uh, basically, for this, the reason why I've left out the note is because all it states is that an excursion is coming up. You could put that in, but I've left it out. Now I'm going to draw the data stores, and I just usually stick them somewhere down the bottom. We've got a spreadsheet and a permission slip. Identify the pre processes. The teacher has sent a note to parents. The student needs to return a signed permission slip and we need to tabulate the data so those are the three processes we're going to draw out those in circles and then we're going to identify the data um, some data needs to be passed um, from a participant to another participant um, and some data needs to be uh, sort of added in so for example here return to sign means that some of the data that's coming in is a signature, and there's also some information about food allergies. Uh, there's discursion, excursion details, and we've got that going there. So now we're going to put that uh, data flow in, and basically we've got, uh, I'll start drawing this by uh, actually using the drawing tool on here, and I'll use the pen. So we've got the teacher. The teacher sends out the excursion details into here into the send note which then goes this way into the parents the parents sign that and put that straight onto the permission slip so they're interacting directly with the data store which actually comes into the return note um, scenario which sends back allergy info plus you know, the teacher doesn't record a signature in the database so basically returns that to the teacher that goes then onto the tabulate data which then is stored into the spreadsheet against uh, the name of the student so basically we can see there that we've got a flow of data going out around this way and in around this way and so on sometimes the flow will go back in and out of the one process but that's basically how to draw a data flow diagram. The final thing is, you might want to refine it just to make it uh, nice. You notice that I've got rid of the students because they don't really um, participate in this system. They are just the transfer medium. They're just this part here. They're returning the note. You could, you could have it pass into them, but it sort of complicated things.